，我哋啱啱咧就用咗啲靈長類嘅動物去研究下嗰個演化嘅關係啦。而家咧，我哋就用下達爾文雀啊，一個好出名嘅一個小鳥族群咧。又去了解一下變異嘅重要性咯喎，咁呢批達爾文雀咧就係當初阿文哥啊，佢喺呢個加拉帕戈斯嘅群島咧，去揾到嘅一批被孤立嘅小鳥嚟嘅啫。咁阿文哥咧就發現啦，喂呢啲雀仔嘅喙部啊，無論係形態上啦、功能上啦，都係有變異嘅。總之就唔同啦。嚟，佢哋每一個個嘴啊，每啲尖啲啊。長啲啊，短啲啊，諸如此類，我知道啦。佢哋嘅功能都唔同喎，食果實嘅，食昆蟲嘅，食仙人掌嘅，食種子嘅，林林種種都有嘅。咁佢就問啦，究竟呢一啲雀仔佢哋個喙部咧，形態又唔同，功能又唔同，對於佢哋嘅生存有乜嘢嘅重要性？留意清楚，題目係問緊對佢哋嘅生存嘅重要性 ，OK？ 啊，就唔係純粹話啊有咩唔同啊嘅重要性啊嚇。咁題目咧就考翻我哋幾樣嘢啦，理解下適應性特徵同埋物種形成嘅概念啦。然後啦，就再理解一下啦，究竟形態嘅變異同佢哋嘅生態位之間又有咩嘅關係咧？第三咧就瞭、是、解下一個被隔離嘅族群當中佢哋嘅演化機制啦。咁而家我哋嚟咗擊破咯喎！啊，咁多款雀仔，佢哋個喙部形態不同，功能不同，對生存有咩重要性啦？第一，佢就話呢一個變異咧，係能夠促進到個自然選擇嘅。即係咁呢句説話咧，本質上係正確嘅，因為啦，變異的確係為咗自然選擇提供材料嘅。咁啊，因為喺自然選擇理論當中啦，阿文哥咧就提過嘅。同種嘅生物之間存有變異，而為咗生存，唔同嘅個體會為有限嘅資源互相競爭，即係生存嘅競爭。而當環境轉變之後啦，具有有利性狀嘅個體就能夠大啲機會生存啦，大啲機會繁殖啦，將有利嘅特性傳俾下一代，呢、這個就為之適者生存啦。而咪經過好多代之後咧，自然選擇咧就會導致到物種嘅進化。咁你諗下啦，喂，其實呢一句説話呢。係得前面呢一句嘅啫，後面嗰堆故事完全冇講過嘅喎，你冇理由自己腦補落去啩？你腦補咗落去，即係火車出曬軌 ，over thinking 啦，係咪？係嘛？咁所以啦，呢句説話咧，實質我哋要諗嘅就係、是，雖然變異係會為自然選擇提供原材料，但係對佢哋嘅生存有咩嘅重要性啫？喂，你係有唔同啫。咁例如啦，而家咧就啱旱季 ，dry season 嘅時候啦，喂。冇曬啲果實嚇，冇曬啲種子，咁啊得翻啲昆蟲食嘅，唔食咁當然啦。食昆蟲嘅雀仔，咁咪感覺上有優勢咯，係咪？但係對於食果實啊、食種子嘅雀仔嚟講，其實係冇利嘅喎。咁即係話從佢哋嘅生存嚟計，其實係有負面影響多啲喎，係咪？咁所以啦 ，A 呢句咧就不盡不實啦。然後到 B 啦，佢就話呢啲雀仔咧係可以透過佢哋，喂個喙部咧唔同啊。從而去分辨到大家喎，咁分辨到大家啦，頂多都係做 species identification， 我認到你，你唔係我 friend， 我就認到你，你係我朋友。但係對佢哋嘅生存有冇一個好重要嘅價值、重要性喺度咧？其實就真係冇嘅喎，我認到你咁啊點啫？啊，我知你食蟲嘅，我知你食種子嘅 ，so what？ 係嘛？咁所以啦，對大家生存冇乜影響嘅。咁定到話啊，我會唔會同你交配？咁呢個係下一步嘅事啊。跟住啦，去到 C 咯喎，佢哋透過雜交 interbreed 咧，就能夠產生有更加多變異嘅後代、哦。咁呢句啦，其實都係錯嘅。但係呢句説話呢，係唔能夠解釋到現有嘅變異嘅生存優勢。咁即係話啦，喂，而家大家呢，每一款個喙係唔同，大家食嘅嘢係唔同。咁但係佢都冇講過環境點樣轉變，係咪？如果佢都冇提到環境點樣轉變，即係有冇上面頭先我哋講嘅成段説話都冇，係咪？都冇講過，咁所以啦，你有冇解釋得到呢？啊，原來食昆蟲嗰啲雀仔呢，就有一啲特定嘅優勢啦，又或者咧而家反返轉啦，雨季啦，啊好多果實啊，好多種子啊，就對食果實啊、食種子嗰啲雀仔呢，就更加大嘅優勢咯、啊，冇講過喎、啊，得呢一句説話啫喎，係咪？咁所以啦，呢句呢，都係錯嘅。甚或乎啦，如果佢哋真係可以雜交嘅話咧，話唔定會將佢哋嘅 variation， 會將佢哋嘅變異咧溝翻埋線真。呢一堆咧就係食昆蟲嘅嘴嚟嘅，啊呢一堆咧就係食種子嘅嘴嚟嘅。
。如果啦，佢哋係能夠集交嘅話，話唔定佢哋會真係溝返埋，係一個好萬能嘅嘴，食乜都得添啊！如果係嘅，咁就巴閉啦，係咪？咁所以 C 呢都係錯嘅。然後啦，去到 D 咯喎。佢就話啦，由於佢哋個肺部係唔同啊嘛，所以啦，佢哋係佔據咗不同嘅生態位，所以就減少競爭。呢句説話就係正確啦，因為佢真係解釋到對佢哋嘅生存有乜嘢重要性。由於佢哋個肺部形狀不同、大小不同，導致到啦。不同種類嘅達爾文雀咧，佢哋食緊唔同嘅嘢，有啲啊食昆蟲，有啲啊食果實，有啲食種子，有啲食仙人掌。雖然啊，佢哋都係住喺呢個加拉帕戈斯群島，但係佢哋之間嘅競爭好少，容許佢哋共存同埋生存喺一個有限資源嘅環境底下。呢、这個就係佢哋嘅肺部形態不同、功能不同，對佢哋嘅生存嘅重要性啦。嗱，咁借呢個機會咧，又順便揾下書咯。咩叫生境 habitat？ 咩叫 niche 啦？生境咧就係你哋住嘅地方，係由一堆地飽的 factor 所組合而成嘅。啊，光度高唔高啊？水分足唔足啊？濕度高唔高啊？風速大唔大啊？諸如此類。而 niche 咧，生態位就係嗰只生物嘅角色啦。而呢條題目當中，其實就係透過佢哋食。啲乜嘢嘢去判別究竟佢哋嘅生態位同唔同啦？咁我都會將佢擺翻喺留言區啦。咁啊，快啲睇下片問下書咯。咁啊，除咗呢一 part 啦，順便温埋咩叫物種形成啦。而呢世嘅群組受到隔離之後啦，啊，無論係物理嘅隔離啦，又或者佢哋而家食嘅嘢唔同啊嘛。咁住嘅地方其實都可以有唔同㗎喎，住喺嗰啲果實啊、花朵附近嘅，住喺個樹幹嘅去食啲昆蟲嘅，所以啦，佢哋就不能夠雜交啦。而當中啦，經歷過長年累月嘅突變啊、基因變異啊，佢哋就各自各演化啦。而透過一代接一代咧，呢、这個基因變異就越嚟越積聚，積聚到一個點咧，就係呢啲受孤立嘅群組咧，唔能夠再雜交。再產生一個有繁殖能力嘅下一代，咁呢啲受孤立嘅群組就係一個新嘅物種啦。We are studying a group of small birds isolated on the Galapagos Islands, and they are called Darwin's finches. So these birds, they show variation in the forms and the function of their beak. So you can see the shape of their beak may be longer, thinner, or shorter, thicker, like a cone shape. So They also feed on different types of food, fruit, insect, cactus, and、uh, seed. So the question is asking that what is the significance of these variation for the forms and the function of their beak to the survival of the birds on the islands? So for this question, we need to understand the adaptive features and the speciation concept. And we also need to comprehend the relationship between the morphological relationship and the ecological niche. And we also need to equip the knowledge about the evolutionary mechanism in isolated populations. So let's go through the answer one by one. Option A: the variation promote natural selection. So for this statement. Is true itself because variation are the raw material for the natural selection. Just what we learn in the textbook, the theory of the natural selection is suggest that variation exists among the individual within the species. However, option A is just providing the first statement, but the following idea it doesn't mention because after that. The individuals they may compete with each other for the limited resources. It's the struggle for survival. Say, and when the environment changes, they have a higher chance for survival and reproduction. So they can pass the favorable characteristic on the next generation. It is the survival for the fittest. So over many generations, the action of the natural selection leads to the evolution of new species. So you can see that. Option A is just providing the starting of the story. It doesn't mention the following up. It cannot explain the importance or the significance for the survival of the small birds. So you see that the whole story is the backup. For example, now is the dry seasons, environmental changes. So no more fruit, no more seed, 
but there are still a lot of insects. So in this case, we can see that or maybe the insect eaters they are the favorable one, right? And but for the fruit, for the seed eater, sorry, they will be eliminated. How could it be that significant for survival? Come on, I'm the one to be eliminated. And then you say that variation can help us to survive. Are you kidding me? So option A, say goodbye. And for option B, and it says that the birds they can distinguish each other by their beak. So maybe the beak they can be used for the species identification. However, is it really necessarily related to the survival? Not really. I recognize you. You are my friend. You are not my friend. So what? No matter I know or I don't know it, it doesn't really help my survival. So option B is wrong. And then for option C, they interbreed to produce offspring with more variation. Oh, so for the birds, they have different forms and function of the beak. So when they interbreed, they can produce offspring with more variation. No, no, no. Because for the interbreeding, it doesn't explain the survival advantage of the existing variation. So for this case, it's just saying something in the future, but not saying why the birds, they can adapt the habitat in this island say or the case could be like this if all the birds they can still interbreed with each other so somehow the forms and the function of the beak may become similar and similar and similar so it will reduce the variation among them so it cannot produce the offspring with more variation because their genes can still be mixed with each other right and for option D, because they have different forms and function of their beak, so they have different ecological niche to reduce competition. It is the answer. Because the variation in the beak shape and the size allow different species of the birds, they feed on different types of food, create different ecological niche. So it can reduce the competition between the species in this limited island environment allow them to coexist and survive because we are different in terms of the forms and function of the beak therefore we feed on different types of food so we do not need to compete with each other you may think that oh no 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 so there may be competition between them yes i agree there will be competition between them yes i agree but among all of them they do not need to compete for the same types of food so it is the importance for the survival. So I would like to grab this chance to recall the following terms, habitat and niche. Habitat is where do the organisms live. So habitat is just like a group of a biotic factor, the environmental factor grouped together to form this environment. For example, the light intensity, water availability, humidity, wind speed, a lot, a lot. And then for the niche is the role played by the organism in its community. So in this question, the types of the food is the factor determine the niche of the birds. And I also want to talk about the speciation. A population, that means the same species of the organism, for example, the common ancestor of all the Darwin finch. So this population separates into small groups. So the small groups are isolated from one another, maybe physical barrier or other barrier. So in this case, it could be the food source. Because they feed on different types of food, they may live in different area of the island. So some of them may live in high up of the tree to feed on the fruit or the seed. Some of them may live in the a bit drier part in the island to feed on the cactus. So they are isolated from each other. So they cannot interbreed with each other. So each group may then evolve independently by natural selection. There are a lot of mutation accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. So after many generations, genetic variation may accumulate to a point where individuals of different isolated group can no longer interbreed to produce fertile offspring. So these isolated groups become different species. So we use this question to recall different types of concept and we also have different questions about the niche. So watch the video and do the revision.